What's up creators, it's Curtis, and I wanted to quickly touch on a new mock-up generator update that we rolled out yesterday. Uh, I just getting around to making the announcement, so I'm going to make a video to go with it. So what we added yesterday under image mockups is the ability for you to add multiple color variants to a mockup. So if you really like a particular mockup and for instance, you want to generate five or even upwards of 10 different colors showing your design on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, hoodie, etc., with uh, different colors, then you can do that now. So here's how that works. So I'm over on the mockup generator. I'm up here, you have this little add variant option and that will only appear on mockups that either allow colors or keywords, etc. So in this in this case, this uh, mockup allows um, color. So I'm gonna go like this, add variant. We'll keep that one black. And again, it just adds another variant here. So I can change the color of this one. Just to give an example, go with the blue, add one more variant. And maybe we'll go with the green here. Yeah, let's add, let's just add a few more. Let's go with the red one. And one more variant. Maybe we'll go yellow. That'll do. So in this case, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. So five different variants that we um, selected, color variants. And now I can just literally hit generate mockup. But first, you can always change the input file on every single one of these, just like you can do with other mockups. And you can also change the output file, which is where you're storing each of these new mockups. So in this case, um, my designs will automatically select an empty file slot each time you add a variant. If you don't have empty file slots, you can hit the little plus button to create them. But in this case, you can see right here, it's mockup one, mockup two, mockup three, mockup four, and mockup five. So we're good to go. I'm gonna hit generate. And again, I had 10 listings selected, so that's 50 um, mockups we're generating uh, for each of these listings. So it's gonna be five mockups each for each listing. So once that's finished, I will let you see a preview of each of those. All right, so that's already done. And you can see here it populates all the mockups down here. This is so much more efficient. And you could do this with our new multi mockup feature too. So you can select up to multiple mockups, up to 10 different mockups. Um, and then if you want to do the color variant feature, you can do what I just showed you. So you can see here all the different colors. It's really, really powerful. So now you can very easily go through our mockup generator and generate multiple color variations for any of the mockups that have a color um, input or even keyword variations. And you can also um, generate multiple mockups at the same time. I've touched on this in a previous update post, but this little multi mockup feature, it's only available to Pro and Pro Plus users, but you can just check that. And I'll show you how that works real quick. I'm gonna just select three different mockups and you can see all three of them are up here. And again, I could change the color of each of these. So this one, I'll leave that black. We'll go with like a gray on this one. And we'll leave this one, we'll just turn it to maybe a blue. Um, so now I can just generate. So this is how the multi mockups work. Now you can, so you can generate multiple mockups in one go. You can generate multiple color variants per mockup in one go. Uh, the mockup generator is getting better and better. We also have um, a few more plans and a few more updates coming to it. So it'll continue to get better. The next update should roll out sometime next week. That will be having the colors from the print providers right there on every one of the mockups. So if it's a Bella 3001, you'll have the color profiles from Swift POD and Printful and whatever printers, whatever, whatever additional printers we add will also contain that color profile. But you can see those are already done. So let me just go preview these real quick. Using that multi mockup feature, it's really nice. And that's it. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. That update is now live, so good luck using it. If you have any suggestions that you would like to see, let us know by leaving a comment below. Thank you and we'll talk soon.